Oh, uh, right, guys and girls. Bit of a long day today, so I'm just starting out because it's the rubbish, I think, tomorrow. Uh, unless it's due to the bank holiday. They might not have it on Thursday, which will be the 25th of April tomorrow. So I'm not too sure if the ash people will be coming around tomorrow or not. Usually it's on Thursdays, or sometimes because of bank holidays, they usually put it back till Friday. Anyway, um, so the story short. So my brother, like, drinks a lot of alcohol and shit and when he's drunk he comes down and nicks pasties at the fridge I've done a few pasty video uh, sort of him nicking pasties at the fridge without asking and all that so that's why I call it the pasty thief um, the continuation uh, all strikes again that's what I did I did a sort of like a pink panther sort of um, sort of thing anyway so my buried kind of hides all his empty cans of beer and lager or whatever he has. Obviously, he's drinking bloody cool's light because he's got shit tons of light, uh, lungs, well, tons of it, tons, tons. Apparently, there's another 10 bags of carrier bags of all these. And then is, I find that uh, a ten, uh, yeah, I've got 10 bags, 12 bags, maybe 20 bags or something. Uh, locked up in the shed. Well, not locked up in the shed because the shed door was open. So I've just had to clean up because otherwise he wouldn't be putting them out there and he'd just have the whole shed filled right up to the top, up to the room. And then he said he doesn't drink. So it's basically in denial and all that kind of stuff. And it's really bad. But then is he's, I wouldn't say he's an alcoholic. He's more of a binge drinker, but you could say he's an alcoholic because the amount of uh, alcohol he drinks. But what's actually, what's the, let's have a look, see what the percentage each can holds of this. I don't drink myself, and this is the reason why. Because uh, alcohol is shit. I don't drink that crap. So 440 millimeter uh, milliliters alcohol level, four percent. Yeah, so four percent. Now he's got st I thought he had some Stella in it no not Stella well he used to drink Stella but I'll tell you what he's absolutely a right bastard when he's on Stella and he, that's what they call the wife beater uh, drinks apparently Stella what they also call it when everybody I mean any Yeah, yeah, so, well, basically, if you drink alcohol in any way, like any alcohol, guys and girls, Anybody it's basically self-harming yourself. You're basically self-harming yourself. So, um, I actually would advise never to touch booze or alcohol unless, like, you're just probably having one, one a week or something. But I've just been reading up on the news. Apparently, one alcohol a week or one bottle or one can a week can actually do detrimental uh, health to you as well problems it can actually give you more health problems as well in later in life even though it's a slow process the doctor told us that anybody who drinks one can is so yeah so anyone who drinks anything really is self harm i mean come on you get cancer from all this amount that's from a doctor in yeah but, uh, yeah, he drinks, he go on a binge drink from 7 o'clock at night till, like, I think, what's that, 1 o'clock in the afternoon? I mean, there's ones where we've went out before and he was, like, drinking from 7, 6, 7 o'clock in the he's afternoon. Well today. He's got yeah, the he's got the flu. flu. Yeah, but the thing is, I've noticed, well, every time he drinks alcohol, he sneezes. And the thing is, it's because of the sinuses from the alcohol. And anybody would tell you that's why people start sneezing is because the alcohol. It's the amount um, of alcohol levels that are through your bloodstream, which actually can give you more sinuses. It shuts down your immune system as well, slowly. So, so I would advise anybody who's drinking bloody alcohol, don't do it. Just don't put your risk it. And don't give yourself like sort of mental health problems later in life because this will absolutely mess you up entirely. And I think, to be honest, the amount of crates and cans that you can get at Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Asda, uh, even Lidl's, they do it. They do like sort of packs where you can buy two for £10, two for, uh, or four for 20 quid. That is absolutely hectic, the amount, the prices on it. That, yeah, I mean, what they should do is do, like, 0% alcohol. They they do it, they, they? Yeah, they're doing alcohol, um, like, beers and stuff with no alcohol. Yeah. They, they do that uh, alcohol-free 
beers and stuff. They should just start bringing those in. Do it like with what they're doing with cigarettes. Just bring those in, help people. Still have the same taste, but not to get them out of their heads and stuff. Like, literally. But, I mean, to be honest, and you can only get the help and the support if the person wants it. And I've I, I told my brother about it from time to time to time. That it's going to kill him if he doesn't get his help um, soon enough. Um, and then he just walks away and stuff, so he doesn't listen. And then he says to him, oh, I don't drink and stuff. Or I just have orange and all that kind of stuff. And and, and then he shows his water and his orange and all that kind of stuff. And I um, I mean, that's a person who's just been in denial with it, really, into it. Um, but, yeah, there's another 10, 20 bags in the shed at the moment, which I'm trying to clean that, and I can only put a couple out of it. I've only just noticed it right now, being in the shed, like there's carry bags. You can hear the cans in there rattling away. But, uh, yeah, cool's like 4%. Now, if he's drinking, say, 4%, I think 1%, uh, not 4%, uh, per units. I think, how many units you get in this per, per can? I'm not too sure how many units per uh, I would advise the alcohol places the ones that sells these alcohol or the manufacturers like Coors Light I don't know who's actually doing it uh, brewed in the UK by Molson's Coors Brewing Molson's Coors Brewing Company so I would advise them to not do them in folks packs of bulks maybe just send them individually get more money but the, and also put the higher prices up on them i would advise them if i was an mp right now i would want them to lower either to put the prices up on it and yeah. sell less for the prices for more so you're getting less for more uh, money you're paying out but um obviously people have uh, their own sort of uh, idea on it but I wouldn't to be honest if you're going like this I'd say two crates of that so that's 20 cans 40 uh, cans in there so 40 of those cans of beer lager or whatever say if you're doing that within 36 hours of like sort of whatever you're doing that is as deadly as anything literally it's deadly and I wouldn't I wouldn't advise anybody to go and drink yourself into a grave i mean it's, it's thousands and thousands and upon thousands of people i think it was like a hundred and twenty eight thousand two hundred and fifty thousand people yeah a year that actually die from alcohol poisoning and it's not worth it guys and girls and the national health service has to get um really bad from this they get really bad from this but anyway guys and girls Cheers for watching. I hope some MPs see this as well because they definitely need to do something about the alcohol levels on this. Oh, look at that. Hello, fella. There's a little snail, look. I don't know if you can sit, see the little fella. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Aww. Hello. Ah, oh, look at that, guys and girls. Oh, look at his little antennas, look. He's got a little antenna, look. Two little antennas. Oh, that scared him a little bit, I think. Oh, little shell. Little snail. But, yeah, anyway, guys and girls, definitely don't do it to yourself. Um... I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm trying to keep as much healthy as possible. And if we're going to save the planet, we're going to have to try and get rid of alcohol as well as cigarettes. Because that is, well, is going to kill you eventually in the end. So just don't do it. Um, or just drink responsibly. Responsible alcohol and all that kind of shit. Um, can still actually, in a way, if you even drink responsibly... You're not guaranteed that you're not going to turn out to be an alcoholic because you might find one day you just drink some alcohol and then suddenly that one bit of alcohol turns into sort of a lavish party and then eventually it turns into a crazy party and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. I'm hoping I'm uh, helping you guys and girls make the right decision out there. 
and see you soon on the next episode. It is today, Wednesday the 24th of April 2019 and it's 8.40 so I'm just packing these out uh, right now. See you soon and stay safe all.